Hey guys, this is Shara of Yellow Yum and this is a Yellow Mom video. Um, I will be talking about baby must-haves and I will be talking about miscellaneous items. I won't be including um, breastfeeding essentials and like diaper and changing stuff because I plan to do a separate video on those. So I will be just discussing you know random items that I feel are really important to have. Um, I did a pregnancy must-have video um, a couple of months back and I listed seven things there so now I will also be talking about seven items. So the first two would be mittens and socks. Babies tend to get cold easily even in this Philippine weather. Um, I know that it's so hot and warm all the time but they still get really cold so it's important that you keep them safe by just putting mittens and socks on them um, just to neutralize the temperature. It's also funny because my baby's hands and feet are always sweaty. Um, I asked the doctor about it and she said that it's because her body is trying to regulate the temperature. Next is washcloths or burp cloths. I always have one with me um, every single day. I make sure that I allot one um, burp cloth for her. And every time she eats or she feeds, I have it on hand um, just for a standby. Luckily, my daughter doesn't really spit up that much, but still, um, sometimes there's just a little bit of milk oozing out so I have to wipe it um, so that her face or her mouth area isn't sticky so that's very important although I know some babies spit up during burping um, so it's very important that you have um, a, war a washcloth or a burp cloth uh, ready next is a manzanilla I don't know if this is available in other countries um, I'll try to research if there is a different um, name for it but here in the Philippines there is such a thing called manzanilla it's um, like an oil that you put uh, around the tummy area and the back area of the baby when she is gassy and when there's air bubbles inside her tummy it just helps um, relieve colic I have experienced um, colicky days and I tell you it's one of the worst because you you just feel helpless you can't really do anything for your baby um, except for try to burp her and just try to remove that air bubbles and every time we use a manzanilla she feels better um, it relieves her from that achy feeling and she just stops crying after maybe about 20 to 30 minutes we give our daughter baths every other day and sponge baths every night and of course every other day as well and one thing that i really have to have is a tabo or a water dipper we don't really have like um an adult tub here so we just have a baby's tub and then we use the water dipper or the tabo to wash her um, i'm not that confident in using a shower head just yet because sometimes the pressure is just too um, too much for a baby so especially when she was just a few weeks old when we started giving her a bath it's just a very very um, useful and very handy and we when we sometimes would like to wash just her bum then we just use that also to wash her very very helpful so you really have to have a separate um, tabo or water dipper for your baby next is a nasal aspirator i remember when there was a time that my baby um, was having a hard time breathing because there was just too much mucus um, in her nose and when my husband aspirated her she instantly um, felt better and she stopped crying right away so obviously we can't help it babies cry all the time so there's just 
their nose are clogged up most of the time so it's very important that you aspirate we aspirate twice a day or if needed and she instantly feels better after removing the snot in her nose and of course with the nasal aspirator you would also need cotton buds um, we use that for her nose and also for her ears it's very very useful there are i think two sizes for cotton buds one's um, a smaller smaller one which we use for her nose and then the bigger one which we use for her ears so just buy those um, both uh, both sizes because you will be using that definitely lastly um, I want to talk about the baby sleeping bag I don't know what it's called we use that every night um, my daughter is kind of weird um, she's not m like most babies she doesn't want to be um, swaddled very much um, she doesn't want her arms to be covered she just wants them free and so we couldn't um, swaddle her at night we decided to try using this baby sleeping bag because it's sleeveless and so she can just move her arms and still she is covered we never really used just blankets because at night she would kick and obviously the blanket will fall off and without us knowing it so um, we decided just to use the sleeping bag at least we're sure that she's secure and she's warm and cozy at night so those are my seven baby must-haves um, again I will be talking about the breastfeeding essentials and also diapering in a separate video so if you have any other suggestions go ahead and comment them below and for more information, I will be putting them in my blog, yellowyum.com. Don't forget to visit that. And for more Yellow Mom adventures, don't forget to subscribe up there. Like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. Thanks. Bye.